Now to our GMA Out Loud, our ongoing pride coverage in the month of June. We are taking a look at modern families and the ways that those in the LGBTQ plus community adapt. Becky Worley talked to a blended family in Boise, Idaho, where after one parent came out, they leaned on love to make it all work. Good morning again, Becky. Robin, good morning. Divorce, kids, custody, then remarriage. Oh, boy. Add in that one ex has just figured out that he's gay and factor in that all of them are Mormon. It could be really rough. But as this one family from Boise, Idaho told me, nope, you just love people no matter what. Meet Penny, her mom, Jessica, her stepdad, Matt, and her biological dad, Steve. After Penny was born, Steve, who was raised Mormon, finally came to terms with his identity. I didn't want to be gay, and it took me a long time to admit to myself and to her that, yes, I'm gay. So about two years into our marriage is when he finally came out to me and started embracing that side of himself. Did that ever feel like betrayal to you? It felt like... Steve exploring and figuring out who he was. And I made a very clear point in my head to not let it become a thing of betrayal. I, I knew it wasn't about me. He and Jessica divorced, and then Steve had to figure out being a gay man and a parent. There was a time where I was convinced that Penny would be better off with no dad than with a gay dad. And I really went through a dark phase for a couple years there where I was suicidal and really struggled with just seeing the value in me being able to live a natural life that I had been taught was so wrong and that was worse than death itself. But one ally through the process was his ex-wife, supporting him emotionally, always inviting him to events, and making sure Penny was a part of his life. Where did you find the grace to have that approach? I've always had an innate gift to just kind of love myself and embrace who I was created to be, and I feel like when you do that, you're able to help other people do that along the way too and recognize that the things they're going through have nothing to do with you personally. Then Jessica remarried Matt, who wasn't initially sure about having his new wife's ex around so much. And Steve and his boyfriend now celebrate events with the family. At the beginning, it was hard to adjust to figuring out, okay, this, this man, is going to be part of these types of functions. Um, so I better figure out how to get used to this. Now it's like, where's Steve? When's Steve coming? Like, <laughs> why is he so late? We, 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 can we start now? And they all try to communicate as a group when it comes to Penny and about Penny. And I know your dad was really worried about you when he was making this decision. And are you okay with everything right now? Yeah, it just seems normal. The family has a podcast called Husband-in-Law, where they talk about their unique situation. Jessica and her new husband, Matt, remain active in the Mormon Church. And Jessica says it's a part of their service to others to show family situations that aren't typical and shine a light on the fact that it can all work out with lots of communication, acceptance, and, Robin, an abundance of love. L-O-V-E love. Becky, thank you mm. so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.